Hey, my writing superstars, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I am battling some allergies today, so bear with me in my in my raspy voice <laughs> and my eyes, but <clears throat> I've been watching what you guys have been posting, which, you know, this is the whole point of the other group posting. I'm seeing the things not posted. Hey, Dee, how are you? God bless you. Um, and I've just been watching the attitude of the group, right? And I've been seeing what you guys are doing and encouraging each other and doing all these amazing things. Very proud of you, okay? Very, very proud of you. So I wanted to come in and talk. We have added um, over 25 new people, and they came in after, right after the challenge. So they may not know what, how we operate and um, how we do things and who we are and what we're about. And I wanted to take a moment and talk about that. And I also wanted to address something that you might not be aware of. So that's why I call this a lesson. I'm going to be teaching today um, because I think it's needed. And I think you guys were so excited after the challenge that you wanted something to do right after, right? And, and sometimes the mind sets in and, and you worry about stuff. So I wanted to talk about that. And I chose noon because many of you um, probably take a lunch break probably um, probably can take a step away from your desk if you have a day job and um, hopefully this is a good time for you either way whether you're gonna watch this live or watch the replay um, <clears throat> I thought this was gonna be a good time to talk about it okay so um, my name is I'm your teacher I'm, I am your writing mama I am the creator and founder of this group uh, also the founder of writing made simple Academy um, that I'm really, really excited about that. And uh, good afternoon. And uh, my my desire is to help people find their voice. And the way you find your voice is when you allowed your heart to come onto a page. Okay, and you can you can write your heart out. Okay, that 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 is what I want other people to find. I have found that for myself, and it has changed my entire life uh, in ways that I cannot even describe. In so many ways that I cannot even describe. Okay, so that's what I have found, and I want other people to have the same. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. I'm stalling a little bit because I want everybody to come and hear the meat and potatoes of 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 what I want to talk about today, what I want to teach about today. Okay, so. Um, that's who I am. That, that is my life's purpose. And I will do that with teaching. I will do that with training. I will do that with coaching and I will do that with preaching. Um, that's the other thing that, uh, people that follow me, I need to be aware of. I'm a woman of God in my tools. The tools that I use are, are tools that are heavenly tools. So the people that I teach, um, need to be open to that. Do you know why? Because um, it's not a requirement, but it's going to make the learning easier. It, it, it's going to permeate onto the person that you are easier if you receive the fact that my anointing, that my, my, my resources, my weapons, everything about me comes from heaven. So if you want to learn and you think that you can learn from me, um, I wanted you to know that. I wanted you to understand that that is who I am and that's how I teach. That's how I teach. And um, can I teach in a secular way? Probably. Can I can I do an okay job? Probably. But I was not I was not created to do an okay job. I was not created to teach halfway. I was created to use my gifts and talents. I. I was created to use my gifts and talents um, to their fullest potential, to their fullest potential. That's how I was created. And what I'm trying to do is um, impartake unto you that the same is true for you. So I'm going to show up 110% authentic. I'm going to do that. Is that, is that. is that fair? I'm going to show up 110% authentic. That's how I'm going to show up. And I want you to, you know how Paul said, be imitators of me as I imitate Christ. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? So I want you to imitate me. If you're going to imitate me in one thing, I want you to imitate me in that, that I show up authentic. I want you to show up on this group 
authentic, that the people, that the person that we get to see on this group is the real you, okay? And I want you to not make apologies for that. I want you to show up at your fullest potential. I want you to show up letting everybody know who you are and knowing whose you are. That's going to change everything about you. That's going to change everything about you when you know whose you are and why you were put on this earth. So that's my little disclaimer. I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but I just wanted to put that out there. I wanted to put out that out there because I feel that in my spirit that not everybody has that freedom. Not everybody has that freedom and I want everyone to have that. Because I know what it's like not to have it. I didn't have that growing up. I didn't have that when I was younger. I didn't have that in my 30s. I have it now. I have that freedom. And I want I want you to have this. It's like when you find a really good store or they have like a really good diner. I love diner food. Oh, I love me some diner food. So when I find a good diner, I tell all the, all, all the diner people about it. Okay? I tell other diner people about it. That's what I do. So uh, I have found something that's blessed me tremendously. I want the same for you. I want the same for you. Yes, who we belong, who we belong to. Amen. You pray for this. That's awesome. So this is your answer prayer, Lena. If you pray for this, this is your fault. <laughs> We can blame Lena for that. We can blame her for Catherine showing up in her full potential. Full potential. Full. Like a capital F, capital U, capital L, capital L. That's how I'm showing up. Is that clear? Is that is that like totally clear that that's what Catherine's story is? Okay. Hopefully that's clear for you guys. Thank you for the heart, for the thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I wanted to get that out of the way. I wanted to get that out of the way. Second, what is the title of the broadcast today? The way things used to be. Let me actually get it. The way it was is not the way it's going to be. I want you to catch that. I want you to catch that. The way it was is not the way it's going to be. Who's going to receive that today? I just want to see some people um, saying, Catherine, the way it was is not the way that it's going to be. So you have tried to learn how to write before. You have tried to learn how to write before. You have paid money to learn how to write before. You have attempted to write a book before. You have trusted that you have found the right teacher before. You have. And you have joined Facebook groups about writing you have done that before and for some reason it didn't work because you didn't show up the right way the teacher didn't show up the right way your mindset was not in the right way um they lied to you you lied to yourself you were not as mature as you could have been insert in the bl in the blank whatever it is that happened insert in the blank whatever it was that happened however type however for me however that was then yeah all of the above thank you Ethel thank you I love that all of the above however 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 However, that was then, and this is now. That was then, you can see my arm all the way over there, right? Because I, I do have long arms. That was then, this is now. So let's address the first point. Let's address the first point that this is the one that you can change. This is the point that you can change. This is the point that you can change. You are not the same person that I used to be. You are not the same person that you used to be. I want you to own that. You are not the same person that you used to be. I want you to receive that. 
Okay, because that's holding you back. I can feel it in the group. I can feel it in your writing. You're afraid because of your history. You are afraid because of your lack of commitment. You are afraid because your your past limitations. You are afraid because of what happened in the past. You are afraid because of your your history. You are afraid because you fail. Let's just put that out there. You are afraid because you failed. Notice that I use past tense on everything. However, you are not that same person. You are not that same person. I want you to release that old person. All those things that you said about you, all those things that happened to you, all those attempts, all those failed attempts, that was true in the past. That is not true anymore. All those limitations that you had, they were true in the past, not anymore. They are not in play anymore. All those things that held you back before, that held you hostage, can I just tell you right now that those things are not in play anymore, okay? The part that you can embrace is your part. The part that you can embrace is your part. This is the time. This is the place that you can embrace. This is the situation that you can embrace. And I need you to release all your failures. I need you to release all your failed attempts. I want you to release your old fears. I want you to release all your old fears. Because, what does the Bible say? You cannot put, oh, thank you, Father God. You cannot put new wine in an old white skin. Oh, Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit, right on time. You cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. What does that mean? That I can have the flightest. I can have the most innovated, uh, innovative. I can have the, the most up-to-date training for you. But if we have some nastiness, if we have some corrosion in the, in the way of that, it's not going to land. Can I just say that? Can I just say that? That I can be the flightest teacher you're ever gonna have. But if you have fear and resentment and tiredness and, and failure that are from the past and they are in the way of that, you are not gonna catch what I'm trying to teach you. So right now, in this moment, I need you to let go of all the resentment, of all the fear, of all the hurt, and I want you to receive right now that you are not that person anymore. That all those all, all fears, limitations, all of that was true. Can I, can I just testify to you that that was true? That was true. You, you are not crazy. That was true. But the way it was, it's not the way it's going to be going forward. You are May new. You are May new. I want today to be your birthday. I want you today to be your birthday. What's today? Today is July 11th. I want your birthday to be July 11th. I want July 11th to be your birthday. That means that you are made new. That means that everything that happened before, everything that you couldn't make happen before, all the mistakes that you made before, they are G-O-N-E, gone. God says that when we make a mistake, he puts them on the bottom of the sea and he will not think of them anymore. So can we take a page from God's book? Can we take a page from God's book and say that your past failures, your past attempts, everything that you tried before didn't work. We are aware of that. We have, we have beat up that tambourine like nobody's business. We, we got it. I heard it. I understand it. It is true. But can we just have a new beginning? Can I, can I give to you a new beginning? You're my students. I'm your teacher. I am about to pour my life on you, okay? I am about to pour so much gifting and anointing. It is my pleasure. It is my calling. It is what I was created to do, but I'm not going to waste it either. 
I am not going to waste it either because I understand the price that was paid for that anointing was great. The price that I was, that was paid for that anointing was great. And I am going to deposit it. I'm going to deposit it in fertile ground. Is that fair? Is that fair? I'm going to deposit my anointing in fertile ground. So I need you to let go of the all. I need you to let go of the fear of the past. We'll address the present in a moment, but right now we're talking about the past. So if you're in agreement, just say me. Say, I'm in agreement. I'm letting go of the past. I'm awesome. Thank you, Philip. I'm letting go of the past, all of the past. It was true. It hurt. It was painful. I understand. I'm letting go of the past. If, you, if you're ready to say that, say me. Say, Catherine, I'm here because I'm ready to let go of the past. I'm here because I'm ready. It, it doesn't serve me anymore. Is that helping you? Is that helping anybody? Still. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Love it. Love it. I wanted to get that out of the way first. I wanted to get that out of the way first. Okay, so that was the first thing. That was the past. That was the past. You are made new. You have new skills. You have a new attitude. God brought you here. There are some people here that would not know about me if God did not want them to know about me. Awesome. I'm going to tell you, D. Don't worry. I'm going to tell you. Awesome, Dolores. Absolutely. So... There are many of you that a few days ago, a few weeks ago, you had no idea who Catherine's story was. That's awesome, Pamela. God is amazing. And that this is an on time. This is an on time teaching. This is an on, and this is a fresh anointed word. Is what it is. It's a fresh anointed word. Is what it is. Many of you would not have met me if the Holy Spirit had not ordained it so. Many of you would not have met me. I've been hidden from you, but God has revealed me to you at the right time. Do you get that? Do you get that? Right? You wouldn't have known about me. You wouldn't. I've been here the whole time. I haven't been hiding. I have been very vocal about what I do, but you wouldn't have found me. You wouldn't have found me. That's awesome, Ethel. That's awesome. So... You let go of the past. You found me because God wants you to be here. So, listen to me. Listen to me. If God wants you to be, if God wants you to be in my presence, if he wants you to enjoy my anointing, don't you think that he's going to provide you? Don't you think that he's going to provide you with the mental and physical resources to be able to manage what I'm about to teach you? I don't know if you got that. I'm going to say it one more time. If God so ordained for you to be on this Facebook group that is anointing, is dripping with honey, don't you think that he's going to provide the mental and physical resources for you to receive from the woman of God? I want you to understand what I'm saying. Because right now I'm calling on your F-A-I-T-H. What does that spell? F-A-I-T-H. I want you to tell me what does that spell. I want you to tell me what that is. Because that we are in this season. This season is all about that. The next six months are all about F-A-I-T-H. Let me know if you know how to spell. Let me know. Faith. Thank you. That spells faith. Does somebody know what the definition of faith is? Does anybody know? Because I have a definition that you haven't heard before. I have a definition for you that you haven't heard before, but I just want to make sure that I'm speaking to the right people. 
Thank you. Thank you, guys. You know how to spell. I love it. I'm talking to the right people. What, what is faith? What is faith? Hallelujah. This is so anointing. I just feel it in my spirit. I feel it so good. I hope you're feeling it too. Trusting God without seeing it first. Believing in the unseen. I'm going to help you today. Trusting in what you don't see will happen. Walking without knowing the outcome. You guys are giving me great answers. I love it. I love it. I love it. I got it, Philip. Don't worry. I love it. You guys, you guys got it. I'm going to give you a new definition. Are you ready for a new definition? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, uh, the evidence of the, of the known scene. Okay. Are you ready for, a, for a one, for one that, that you probably don't even, uh, you're not even aware of? This is what faith is. And it's, it's taking me a minute to get it. But when I got it, I got it. When I got it, I got it. I'm going to come close to you so I can tell you what it is. Faith, my dear, my love, faith is believing what you were promised. Faith is believing what you were promised. When you promise some things, where you promised some things. I believe that if you're here, you were promised some things. 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 Not by me. You were promised some things by your heavenly father. You were promised some things by your heavenly father. The question that I have for you is today, do you believe what he said? Do you believe? Do you believe what he said? Do you believe what he said? That's the question that I have for you today. <clears throat> do you believe what he said? Okay. Awesome. Some of you are saying yes, that you believe that. But you know that I am, I'm all about don't tell me, show me. I'm all about don't tell me, show me. Don't, don't, don't tell me. Show me. Something that I can see, something that I can touch, something that is palpable. Are you walking in that promise? Are you walking in that promise? There's a book that I wrote and my students saw me wrote, write it. There's a book that I wrote and my students saw me writing it. They literally saw me typing it. Literally, they saw me with their eyes. They saw me typing, okay? They saw me typing this book. And this book is about Jacob, okay? The book is about Jacob. And, and, and you know how what I told you, right? That the book is always for you first. The book is always for you first. And those of you that signed up, those of you that signed up for um, early for the academy, you're going to see me edit that book because I, I gave you that course. That was $247. I gave you that course. So you have it. You actually will be able to read it because I edited it. So you can slow down the video. You can stop it and you can read the book before anybody else sees it because I edited it on camera. I let, I let the Holy Spirit allow me to edit that book. So anyway, here it comes. Here it comes. Jacob got fed up being Jacob. Jacob got fed up being Jacob. Do you know what he do one day? He did something that he ain't never done before. He did something that he's never done before. He said, I am done being Jacob. I am fed up with my Jacobness, if you will. I'm just made up that word. I am fed up with this. I am fed up with this. So you know what he did? I am willing to do something that I have not done before. I am willing to do something that I have not done before. So you know what he did? 
he did that thing that he had never done before. But on top of that, do you know what he did? He did not quit until he was successful. He asked for something and he said, I'm going to get it. And I'm going to fight this angel of the Lord, which many people believe that that was Jesus incarnate. And I believe that too. I believe that the angel of the Lord it was Jesus. He was fighting and he was wrestling with Jesus. And he said, I will not let you go until you bless me. That's how you show faith. That's how you show faith. You go after it. There were some promises made to Jacob. There were some promises made to Abraham. There were some promises made to Isaac. So Jacob said, I'm going to get my blessing. What does it have to do with writing? I'm going to wrap it up with a bow. In a, with a bow. Just a minute. Don't you wait about it. Don't you worry about it. I'm going to tell you what it means to you. Jacob said, I'm sick and tired of struggling with the same issue day in and day out. I had it. I had it with my Jacobness. I had it with uh with my with my weak flesh. I had it. You have to have a Jacob moment when it comes to writing. You have to have a Jacob moment when it comes to writing. As long as you give me credit, you can just give me credit. I don't mind. Just give me credit, Philip, but you can use it. You need to have a Jacob moment and say, I am done struggling with this thing. Now, remember that you're let go of the past and you're made new because today is your birthday, right? So I'm dealing with your present because somebody asked me, okay, I let go of the past. What do I do now? I don't know who asked me, but somebody asked me that. I'm dealing with your present right now. This is what I'm dealing with with you, with your present. Okay, you said that you're sick and tired of struggling with your writing. You're sick and tired of it. Do something that you have never done before. Do something that you have never done before. And do it until you succeed. I want you to take a page from Jacob's book. Jacob was tired of struggling with the same stuff over and over again. He held on to the promise and he said, I will not let go until you bless me. I want you to do something different until you are different. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Do something different until you are different. That's how you change. That's how you become the writer that you were created to be. That's how you change. That's how you deal with the present. Don't worry. I got the future for you mapped out too. Don't worry about that. That word is coming. I want to make sure that you got the present. I got to make sure that you got the present. Okay, you're going to do something different that you have never done before and you're not going to quit until it, you are different, until that thing changes you from the inside out and you're no longer who you used to be and you become who you have been destined to be. Does that make sense? Now, I don't know if you want some of that, but that sounds really good to me. I don't know if that sounds good to you, but that sounds like what the doctor ordered. That sounds like what you have been praying for. That sounds like the thing. That sounds like the thing that God has been wanting to get for you to get into your thick old head. I did not read your post. I haven't been online today. I posted something bright and early and that was it. I have not read it, Twyla. I have not read it. This is an on-time word, I told you. This is an on-time word. I told you that. On time. On time word. Okay? It's fresh. It's fresh. And I just felt that in my spirit that it was needed. So I need to give it to you. Oh, you deleted it. Okay. I did not read it. I did not read it. I don't know what it was, but I did not read it. So this is not this is not for anybody, by the way. I don't want you to feel attacked. This is not for just one person, okay? This is not this is yeah, 
this is not for one person. This is for the group. I felt that in my spirit. I felt the heaviness. I felt the heaviness. This is not just for you. I felt it. I felt your fear. I, I'm your mama. I'm your mama. I know. I felt it. I felt it in my spirit. I felt it. It's not, it's not because one person, you were tired. Okay. Okay. I did not see it. I did not see it. It was for all of you. It's not just for one person. It's for everybody. It's for everybody. It's for everybody. Okay. I felt it. You did not tell me. I did not get any messages. I did not get any emails. I did not get any phone calls. I felt it in my spirit. And your responses are telling me that you that this is confirmation, that you were feeling that way. I was feeling it. I was feeling it. So we dealt with your past. We dealt with your present. Let's deal with your future. Let's deal with your future, shall we? Let's deal with your future. So you let go of the past, you let go of your fears, and now you're going to do something that you have never done before, and you're going to do it until you are different, until that thing changes you. So that was the past, that was the present. How about the future? How about the future? Oh. There we go. And I think that was me. I think the connections issues were me. Lena, I think they're going to be fixed. There was something wrong. I think it's okay now. You let me know if it's better now. I think it will be. I think it will be. You think it's going to be better now. Just give me a thumbs up if it's better. I think it will be. I believe that it will be better. I believe that it will be better. I really do. So we dealt with your past. We dealt with your present. Let's, let's deal with the future. I feel it that it's better now. It is better. Okay. So the whole point of this, the whole point of this is the future. Because what you are going to do, my dear, what you are going to do is you're going to take your newfound words. You're going to take your newfound words and your voice. Okay. You're going to take your newfound words, your newfound voice, and you're going to tell others what God has done in your life. You're going to tell others what God has done in your life. That's going to take courage. That's going to take courage. That is going to take courage. <clears throat> what you're doing right now in the present, let's go back to the present real quick. What you're doing in the present right now, do you know what you're doing? You're building your courage. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're building your courage right now. Because when you learn to write... <clears throat> When you learn to let go of your fear, when you learn that you have a story and that it's powerful and you have that book, do you know what you're going to have to do? Do you know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to hit sin. When you do all that work, when you cry all those tears, when you go through all my classes and all my training and you continue to condition yourself, do you know what you're going to have to do? Do you know what you are going to have to do? Do you know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to hit sin and the whole world will know your business. Now, if that's not scary, I don't know what scary is. I don't know what else will be scarier than that. Having the whole world know your business. <clears throat> Talk to me. Talk to me, people of God. Talk to me. <clears throat> Talk to me. Am I right or am I right? <clears throat> Am I right or am I right? But I'm telling you that what you're doing today, the work that you and I are embarking to do, it's building, it's building that courage. You need to trust me because I, I was you. I've been you. 
I know you. I know you. I was you. I wore your shoes. I wore your hat. I wore your t-shirt. I know you. I know you. I was you. Not only do I know you, I was you. So don't think, don't think that I'm so far removed from where I used to be that I don't remember. I remember. I remembered. Because I lived it from for far too long. Far too long. I am you. I was you. I know what you're thinking. Because I thought it. I wrote it. I cried it. I complained it. I know it. I know it. I was you. I was you. And I had that moment where I hit sand. I had that moment when I hit sand. Can I tell you what happens after that? I'll tell you if you want me to. <laughs> oh, I love that, Orenzia. I love that writing is on my brain so much that I keep using it for write. I love it. My kind of girl. My kind of girl. Can I tell you what happens after you hit sand? I'm going to tell you what happens. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm going to tell you what happens when you hit send. I'm going to tell you what happens. I'm going to show you what happens when you hit send. First of all, first of all, hold on. This is what happens. This happens. This happens, this happens, this happens, this happens, this happens, this happens. Do you understand? Do you need to see it again? I'll show you again. This happens, this happens, this happens, this happens, this happens, this happens, this happens. That's what happens, and that's not all of it. That's what happens. That's not all of it. 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 What happens is that people come out of the woodward and they start telling you that your brokenness bless them. All those stories that I just show you all those stories that I just show you, do you know what happens? That you stop worrying about you and you start, you start thinking about others. You stop worrying about you. You stop, you stop worrying about you and you start thinking about the people that are going to be picking up this book. And you say, less of me and more of him. And you start saying, use me in a way that they see you when they see me. Use my foolishness, use my mistakes, use my lessons, and free somebody else. That's what happens. And what you receive in exchange, because the Bible says it is better to give than to receive. That's what the Bible says. He says that it's better to give than to receive. And I can tell you, I can testify, I can decree and declare, I can tell you that in my word is my word, yes is yes, no is no. I am telling you that when you share your story, what comes back to you is deliverance, is blessings, it's amazing. Amen. Amen. I am telling you. That when you share your brokenness, when you share your brokenness, God sees that and he uses it. He uses it for his glory. He uses it. He uses it for his glory. So don't you think that that is worth a little bit of, a, a, a little bit of shifting? A, a little bit of being uncomfortable. Don't you think that's worth that? Don't you think that's worth it? 
All things, Pamela. He means all things. A, capital A, capital L, capital L. Do you understand? Do you understand? For those of you that came late, you're going to have to watch the entire video because it's going to change your life. It's going to change your life. Now, some of you, thank you, Father God. I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Forgive me. I didn't know this. Some of you are afraid to join the academy. I didn't know this. I thought I made it so simple. I thought I made it so clear. I did not know that some of you are afraid to join the academy because you don't know what's going to happen on the other side because you don't trust yourself because you have tried before and you failed because you tried before and you didn't show up in the way that you should have shown up. I did not know that you were afraid. I'm like, are you afraid of me? I, I, I did not know that I can be intimidating. I did not know that. Why didn't you tell me that? Do you think that because of all of this, you cannot learn from me? Do you think that? I, do, do you think that? Do you do you think that because of that, that it's gonna be too deep, too complicated? Is that what you think? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. The whole part, the whole point of the academy is to be simple. The whole point of the academy. It's, it's going to be simple. You're afraid, but you join anyway. I did not know that you were afraid from about something that you want. You want this. This is the funny part. You want this. This is what really, it, it, it's hard for me to believe. You want this. And you are afraid of it. You pray for it, though. The... Did somebody pray for the academy? Did somebody pray for God to send somebody? Did, did somebody pray? Because I know somebody did. It's like asking for a blessing. Amen. Amen, Sadie. Amen. It's like asking for a blessing. And when the blessing shows up at your door, you slam the door in its face. I didn't know that. This is for you. I already know how to write. I already know how to write. I already know how to write. This is for you. This is for you. You pray, Pamela. You pray for this. This is for you. This is not for me. I already got this. I already got it. And you need to trust that if God called you, oh my God, thank you for, thank you for your honesty, guys. This is really blessing me because this is, I'm speaking prophetically. I, I, you guys have not told me this. You guys have not posted this, but you are afraid. I felt it. Oh my God, what is happening? What is all this fear? What is all this fear that I feel? It was your words. I could hear your words. I could hear you. I could feel your fear. It's going to be okay. God sent me. You are in good hands. You are in good hands. So when I did not see your name there, and I know you wanted, I know you love learning from me. I know that you enjoy um, the, the, the lessons, the, the challenges, and I did not see your name there and money was not the problem because I could not make it more affordable. You understand that, right? You understand that, right? I think I shared with you guys because I, I don't think you understand. I'm going to post this in the group so you can see what my prices are. I'm going to post this in the group because I want you to see what I charge. The least that I charge here is $500 for one hour. The least that I charge. The least. Fear of failure and judgment from others. Okay, wow, thank you. The least that I charge is $500. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? That's the smallest and that's just an hour. Actually, 45 minutes, if I'm honest with you. That's 45 minutes. So the academy 
It's not a money situation. It's not because it's 47 bucks right now. God knew. God knew. So whether you're watching this, I hope you're watching this before, before Sunday because Sunday that's going away. Sunday that's going away. Sunday it's going to go to the regular on Monday morning. It's going to be the regular rate. 99 bucks. 99 bucks. And even then, even then, even then, so it's not the price. I need you to take that step of faith. You need to for yourself, for yourself. You need that step of faith for yourself. You need that step of faith for yourself. So you can show up in the way that you need to show up. So you, so you learn in the way that you need to learn. So you learn in the way that you need to learn. Is that clear? You need to show up. You need to show up. So this is what I'm going to do. Because I know that seeing is believing. Does anybody feel that way? Seeing is believing. Say, type that for me. Seeing is believing. Type that for me. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Many of you are afraid. I'm going to be sending out an email today. You got it? Okay, awesome. No worries. God bless you, Lena. I'm going to invite everyone for Saturday's first class. Seeing is believing, right? I'm going to invite everyone to Saturday's class. Everybody. I'm going to invite all of you to Saturday's class. And you don't have to pay for Saturday. I'm going to invite you to Saturday's class. You're going to get the email. You're going to get all the information. <clears throat> and I want you to see what the academy is like. Because I think the word academy is intimidated some of you. I need to show you. Because seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Saturday. You're going to get the invite today. You're gonna, I'm going to post this in the group in case somebody doesn't watch the entire thing. They know that they are cordially invited on Saturday to see what the Academy is about. Once you see what it's about, you have two days the rest of Saturday and Sunday to decide if it is for you at the lower rate. That way I can sleep easy and know that I show you and know that I told you what it was so you can see it. So you're no longer intimidated by the Academy, the word Academy, even though before Academy is writing made simple, writing made simple simple the time is either 12 or noon p.m eastern time it's at 12 or 1 p.m eastern time one of those two times i will i will look at my calendar and make sure that i let you guys know it's either 12 or 1 and i want you to see the academy for what it is and then you're not gonna be afraid anymore can I just tell you that? You're not going to be afraid anymore when you see what it is. Because maybe you haven't seen me teach before the way I teach when I'm really committed to you. Now, I'm committed to you, but I got to be honest with you and tell you that the people that I'm teaching at the academy, I'm committed even more so because of your own commitment to yourself. Is that fair? That I'm committed to this group. I'm committed. I'm not going away whether you sign up or not. But... Seeing your faith and seeing your commitment allows me, pushes me to show up for you at a deeper level because of your faith. Is that fair? Just give me a thumbs up if that's fair. Is that fair? Does that make sense? Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So if you're making, if you're making an investment and you are doing it afraid... I need to match that and show you and give you even more. That's just the way, that's just the way that I work. I reward faith. I reward people jumping when they're afraid of the landing. I do that. That's just what, that's what our daddy does. 
That's why it's called faith, believing on the promises that were made to you. That's what faith is to me. You believe the promises that were made to you. You believe those promises. So I'm going to post it in the group. You're going to have the invitation. You're going to have the invitation. And then you make a decision. 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 It's like I'm gifting you $47. That's what I'm going to do. Because I don't want you to be afraid anymore. There's nothing to be afraid of. There is nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, we cannot please him without that, without faith. Absolutely. So I'm going to be posting today your invitation. You're, you're cordially invited to monitor the, the, uh, the Academy Saturday. I'm doing that. I'm going to allow you to see what the Academy is about. And then you decide what you're going to do. I'm going to allow you to see it. I'm going to allow you to, to learn what the mindset of a writer is. And then you decide. <clears throat> hey, I love that. The faith of the writer is encouraging even to you. Amen. That's pretty dope, right? I love that. Yeah, encourages you first. The word is always for you first. The book is always for you first. So... I am, I, I, I am eliminating the fear. I am removing the element of the unknown, if you will. I am eliminating, I am eliminating the, the element of the unknown. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you Saturday what the Academy is all about. I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm going to show you what the Academy is all about. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because I am not, your name is attached to me. Thank you, Father God. Your name is attached to me. I am not going to let you go. Your name is attached to me. You listen to me? Are you listening to me? Your name is attached to me. I hope you understand that. I hope you get that. I know that. And wow. Wow. Just like the good shepherd that goes after the one. Just like the good shepherd that goes after the one. I'm coming after you. 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 Your name is attached to me. I'm not going to let you go. I, I, I'm your writing mama. And you're my son and you're my daughter. And I'm not going to let you go. You're not going to fall through the cracks. And fear of the unknown is not excuse for you not to be with us. This is a family. I believe that. I know this. I love that. Thank you, Ethel. You are purpose to, in our lives. I am. I am. I don't know what happened to you before. I don't know who dropped you before. I do not know who let you down before. I will not do that. My daddy will not let me. My daddy will not let me. My previous students can tell you, when I commit to you, I commit to you. I am going to give to you. I'm not going to hold back. And then even, even when I tell you I'm going to give you this, I'm going to give you more. Because I, I need to give you out of the abundance. That's how my daddy gives you. He gives me out of the abundance. Out of the abundance. I'm going to give you out of the abundance of what God showed me. I'm going to give you out of the abundance of what God showed me. I'm going to give you out of the abundance of what God gave me. I, I'm saying it until you believe it, until you hear it. But saying is one thing, doing is another. I'm putting my mouth where my words are. Yep, that's exactly it. Gina that's ex that is an assignment. Holy Jesus. Thank you, Father God. That is an assignment for me to teach you how to do this thing. That is an assignment in my life. 
There is an assignment in my life and I will not stop until that is done. Until he calls me to do something else. But that's my assignment. Thank you for acknowledging that, Philip. Thank you. That's part of the process. So um, I need you to watch this a couple times. I'm going to be posting the information. And um, we're, we're going to have church. <laughs> we're going to have school. And it's going to be awesome on Saturday. It is my pl pleasure and privilege to teach. You know that. You already know that. If you don't know anything else about me, you know that I love teaching. You know that it's in my veins. You know I have discovered and uncovered because it was always there, Gina. It was always there. So I'm going to give you on Saturday. That's my, that's my portion. I'm going to give you out of the abundance. I'm not stingy. No, Latisa, I have opened it up to everyone on Saturday. So everybody is welcome on Saturday. Everybody. We just had church. Yeah, where's the plate? Pass the plate. Pass the plate. Where are the announcements? So if you just got here, I opened the academy for this Saturday only. Everyone can come. So my gift to you is showing you what's inside the academy. I'm showing you this Saturday, and I think it's maybe the most important one because it's um, it's the mindset of a writer. Oh, I'm excited. I wish today was Saturday. I wish I could move it, but I got too much stuff going on. I wish today was Saturday already because I'm going to give you something that you don't even know you need. I'm going to give you something that is going to transform your life. It's going to change your life, and that's just the first part of July. That's just the first part. That's just the first part. The second part, the second part is the fundamentals of writing. The fundamentals of writing. The fundamentals of writing. And the fundamentals are more than what you think. That's the second lesson. And for that one, you're going to have to pay because that's the second part of the academy. And it's only fair that the people that pay have something that you don't have, that you don't get because they made a sacrifice. This is a sacrifice for many of you. So the fundamentals of writing are things that um, are going to help you uh, in the days to come. Because what's going to happen is when the 40-day challenge come, I'm so excited for you. I am so excited for you. Because when the 40-day challenge comes and you're working on this, your writing, I, I, am, I am speaking to you. The, the academy goes on forever, Bonita. The academy doesn't end because I'm growing. I'm always growing. We're going to meet every month, three times a month. I'm going to be pouring on you all of the time. All of the time. All of the time I am going to be pouring on you all of the time. All of the time. All of the time. All of the time. So, when the 40-day challenge comes, there's going to be an anointing on you. And there's going to be a difference on the people that are in the academy and the people that are not in the academy. Because we're going to be in the academy for a whole month. Before we do the challenge, look at God. We start on the 15th. The academy starts on the 15th. Listen to me. This is prophetic. The academy starts on July 15th. The first challenge day is August 14th. That's exactly a month. That is exactly a month because there are 31 days in July. Listen to me. When you roll in, because you're going to be strutting your stuff, you're going to be rolling in onto the, onto the new assignment, onto the new challenge. When you show up to that challenge, your writing, your mindset, the way that you show up is going to be different from everybody else. Because I'm going to be pouring on you like you have never been poured on before. You are going to have tools and resources that other people don't have access to. I'm going to give you my secret sauce. 
I'm going to tell you how to deal with things. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So when you do the challenge, when you do the first challenge, the writing prep, and then you roll onto the 40-day challenge, I want you to get prepared to meet a you that you haven't met before. I want you to get excited about this. I want you to get prepared to meet a new you that you have been dreaming about, that you have been praying about. Did you hear me? I don't think you caught that. I want you to get ready to meet a you that you have been praying about. You have been praying about a new you. When the 40-day challenge rolls in, in September, so we have the new challenge in August, and, that, and that's the prep challenge. That's going to bless the socks off of you. That one is also F-R-E-E, -E, because I'm giving you... I want you to realize this, that I'm not abandoning you because you're not joining the academy. I'm still giving you lots of stuff for F-R-E-E. -E. When you do the writing prep and it's time in September for the 40-day challenge, the 40-day, uh, the, the write your book in 40-day challenge, when you step into those streets, when you step into that classroom, when you step into the... Um, into the Facebook group with your shades on and looking all kinds of fine with confidence that others can only dream of, you're going to understand why today is your birthday. You're going to understand why today is your birthday, why July 11th will forever be your writing anniversary. I want you to write this down somewhere, put it on your phone somewhere. I want you to start calling it your writing anniversary. You were born as a writer today. You let go of everything that has been in, on the way today. You are made N-E-W. You are made new. You are made new. And I have a front row seat to this. How blessed am I? Jesus, how blessed am I? I get to see firsthand the transformation of you. I get to see firsthand how you blossom into this amazing, godly person. Do you understand? 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 I don't think you get it, but you will. You're, you're going to have this two days before your actual birthday. That is amazing. That is amazing, Orencia. That is amazing. So I want you to... I want you to save this video. You know how you can go into the little tri triangle thing and, and click on save. I want you to save this video because the prophetic, the prophetic revelations that I declare over your life are coming to pass. The prophetic revelations that I have bestowed upon you today are coming to pass quicker than you ever thought possible quicker than you ever thought possible so i need you to save this video because it's it's powerful this teaching is powerful i hope you got i hope you caught it i hope you catched it um receive it amen and then and then celebrate and then celebrate receive it yeah this is this is the faith this is this is the faith part this is the first the faith part that we were talking about believing the promises made to you Believing the promises he made to you. Okay? So it's been a little over an hour. But I wanted to be thorough with this teaching. We tackled the past. We tackled the present. And we tackled the future. And we tackled what happens after that. After you hit send. We tackled that. What happens after you hit the send button. I'm telling you. I'm telling you that I'm telling you. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. Heavenly Father, we, we pray that 
we everything that we have spoken um, comes to pass. We pray that our faith meets meets our expectations. I pray that our faith meets our eyes. I pray that our our our, our feet may uh, meet our faith. Um, in ways that it hasn't before. We pray that our expectations have been enlarged and that you blessed us in mighty, 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 mighty ways. It is my belief, it is my faith that everything that has been spoken over everybody that watched this live or watches the replay will be blessed in ways that years to come will not be able to withhold. That days to come, years to come, this revelation will be coming to pass over and over and over again. It will continue to overflow for generations to generations. I pray these things over my over my my writing kids. I pray over them and I pray over me that I deliver what you have called me to do. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Father God. I pray all these things in the precious, mighty, powerful way, name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. I want you to go forth and get excited. Get excited because greater is coming. Get excited because greater is coming. Greater is coming. Thank you. I received that, Orencia. I received that. Thank you, Father God, for my writing kits. Thank you, Father God, for my writing kits. God bless you guys. God bless you. I will see you soon.